Learn about working with connectors in Azure Logic Apps in this edition of Azure Tips and Tricks. One of the things that makes Azure Logic Apps so powerful is its collection of connectors that we could use to integrate with third-party services. Let's open up the Logic App Designer. Currently, I have an HTTP trigger that's going to kick off my Logic App workflow. But right now, it really doesn't do anything else. Let's add a new step. I'm going to click on Add an Action. And now, I could browse through the various connectors we have available. For this one, I'm going to search for Twitter. I'm going to select the Twitter connector. And what I actually want to do is have it post a tweet for me. It's going to say, sign in to create a connection to Twitter. I'll click on sign in. I'll add my account credentials. And now I'm ready to use Twitter inside of my Logic App workflow. So I'll click on text to be posted. Notice it says the message schema. Well, this variable is actually coming from our HTTP request. If we open this and we look quickly through the JSON schema, we could see that we actually have a title of a property and it's called the message schema. Now that's probably not the most intuitive name. So let's change that really quickly. We'll change that to message. We'll save that. And now if we come back down here, notice that it's changed to message. So if I click on this, this should now be the message that I want to have tweeted out. Now let's save this. What we want to do now is actually run this logic app. If I click on my HTTP action, you can see the URL that we needed to make the request to. I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to open my Postman tool that I'm going to use to make a request. I'm going to create a new request, paste in the URL. I'm going to set this to post. I'm going to go to the body, set it to raw, change it to JSON. And now I need to put a message in here. I'll say message. Hello from Azure Logic Apps. Now I'll send the request. Notice here at the bottom, it says 202 accepted. So that means that my quest should have gone through. Let's see what happens if I actually go to my Twitter account. Notice here it says, hello from Azure Logic Apps. So that means that my request actually worked. And that's how you could use connectors to easily integrate with third-party services inside of your Azure Logic Apps workflow.